Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Aries. Aries, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Aries, for their highest and greatest good. All right, Aries, we've got the Ace of Cups, beautiful. Your person showing up as the Eight of Pentacles. They're viewing you as the Empress. What you're not seeing is the Devil. And we have the High Priestess, okay. I think, Aries, you've got somebody here who is low-key obsessed with you. And I say low-key because this devil energy is in the hidden position. And the high priestess energy here is, you know, this is secrecy. So I feel like there are going to be some secrets here revealed. It may lead to like a new cycle in love here for you. The world card in reverse tells me, though, that your person might be, you might, you, they might be closing out, um, an unhealthy cycle for themselves, like, or maybe for some of you too. Like I kind of get this person might be a bit of a workaholic and they're trying to like create more space for love. Um, maybe they're quitting one of their jobs if they have multiple jobs or they've just been, they're realizing their work is consuming their whole lives. So let's see with the Ace of Cups here, it does feel like you have a new beginning in love here. Now, obviously, the devil in the hidden position can also be Aries, this person having some sort of bad habits or addictions. I'm really reading it more as uh, as workaholism, though, or just having like working two jobs or working very, very high work hours, 60, 80 hour weeks, things like that. The Ace of Cups. Why is this here for my Aries? Okay, we've got the Lover's card, Gemini energy. This person's coming in. This person is low-key obsessed with you, Aries, and I feel like they're really willing to make some big changes in order to have a future here with you. Some of my Aries, if you are currently pregnant and this is your person, like they're they're making some changes for the family, okay? Really specific message that came through. Like they're willing to make healthy changes to like make this work um, and to spend more time with you. But for a lot of my Aries here, wow, this is just, this is a secret admirer. They've been strategizing. They know they need to do things differently here. Um, some of you too, it could be somebody that like stopped going to the gym you used to go to, or they stopped, maybe they switched jobs if it was somebody that you worked with, but they're trying to figure out how to come get close to you. Yeah. Some of you, you work with this person or you see them out and about in the community with the three of pentacles. Um, provided it's not someone, you know, you're with or you're dealing with, but the three of pentacles energy here, this person, they want to get on the same page with you. They want to work things out. They're trying to figure out how to have the 10 of pentacles with you. And Aries, this is something, this person, they've been daydreaming about this for a really long time is what I'm getting. And so with the Empress energy, this is Taurus and Libra energy. They're seeing you as their person. Now, if you don't identify as the divine feminine, that's okay. Remember, my readings are not gender specific, but the Empress here is showing us that, you know, they see you, they see you as their queen for a lot of you. And of course, that's, you know, if you don't identify as a queen, that's fine. <laughs> it just switch the energy there. And we see the knave of chalices. They're a little bit worried, though, that you're not ready for this or that you're still stuck on someone or something from the past. So if you have, if you know this person, Aries, and you've had a fight or an argument, they're really worried that, that it's like been a deal breaker for you, or they're worried that you're not going to give to this connection or you're stuck on something from the past. I just feel we're definitely picking up on this person's insecurities here. Let's figure out this devil energy, what this is. All right, we've got the temperance. Some of you, there's some hidden addictions, okay, with temperance energy. It could be drinking. It could be drugs. It really could be anything. Um, and we see the nine of wands. Yeah. But I do feel like this person, you know, they, they're, they're taking a good hard look at what they need to do, what they need to change, um, so that they can have a future here with you, Aries. I mean, the messages are super clear. The high priestess energy, uh, cancer Pisces coming through. This is about really trusting your intuition. All right. And we see the seven of swords. Secrets are going to be revealed. A lot of you, this is a secret admirer, or maybe they're going to tell you about some of these bad habits, but they're cleaning up their side of the street so that you two can have a chance. 
Um, and there's going to be a passionate renewal or new beginning here. Yeah. And we see the death card energy in reverse. For some of you, this person has been keeping to themselves. For some of you, they have been keeping secrets. And if these secrets, Aries, are deal breakers for you, okay? Like if it's, you know, if it's something that you're just not up for, you can't, you don't want to deal with anymore, um, or it's, a, you know, it's a deal breaker. And we all know what our deal breakers are. Spirit is saying there's a new beginning for you. You know, if this person has been manipulative, if they've been, um, you know, again, deal breakers, if there have been deal breakers here, but I, I see there's a passionate renewal for a lot of you. Um, I also feel this person has been maybe a little bit jealous, uh, maybe even a little bit worried here, Aries, that you, um, yeah, that you've moved on or you're not going to, you're not going to give them a chance. All right. So let's see, clear messages, advice, and guidance. Okay. So transformational relationships here, Aries. Surround yourself with good people and you'll find that previously unimaginable horizons will open up to you. So for a lot of you, this is going to be a transformational relationship. If it's a secret admirer, it's a powerful one coming, you know, and they're just going to be telling you they've been obsessed with you for forever, basically. <laughs> for others of you, this is a relationship that is transforming. So it looks like they're cleaning up their side of the street so that you two can really build something solid here, especially for those of you who may be pregnant. It just keeps coming through. And for others of my Aries, you know, if you're done with this person's energy, spirit saying, you know, surround yourself with good people, you know, other opportunities will certainly open up for you. All right. So you know your story. All right. And live outside the box. So spirit's advice for you is don't be afraid to live outside, to live life outside the norm. That's where the magic happens. All right. So doing things differently because you are a rare gem. And for a lot of you, this person, they absolutely see that with you. Or they see that about you. They love, like, they, they see you're one of a kind. And that's why they're willing to make so many big changes and, you know, make some powerful shifts so that you two have a chance. At the bottom of the deck, we have amazing chemistry. So I do see your physical connection is going to be on point. <laughs> Actually, it's going to be off the charts if I, if, uh, to state it a little bit better. Um, all right. Is there anything else my Aries need to know about this person? Is there anything else my Aries need to know? See, we see addicted to social media. Again, we see the addiction energy coming through. So there are some bad habits. Um, you know, some of you, you might have a rule like put your phone down rule when we're together, when we're having dinner, when we're on date night. Um, but I feel like it's kind of bigger than that. But I also feel this person is probably addicted to your social media, checking you out especially if you've been posting any thirst trap pictures there, Aries. They're a lot of fun, and this person's also very giving, all right? And maybe they've been really self-absorbed. Maybe they've been paying off debt. Maybe they've been, uh, you know, building a business. Whatever it is, they realize they need to do things differently here, or they're trying to figure out how to do things differently um, in order to have a chance with you to make this really work. So it feels good, Aries. Um, and like I said, some of you, this is going to just be, this is a, you know, this is a secret admirer, okay, who's coming towards you and it feels powerful. And, and they, what might be forcing them to sort of out themselves here is they, they may be feeling a little bit jealous. Maybe if you have like somebody from your past around you or they're seeing you talking to other people or they're worried that you are. All right. So spirit's advice for you is lean on your inner circle during this time. Um, the decision is going to be up to you. The ball is in your court, Aries. And this is definitely a, an intense connection because there's a past life soul con soul connection for sure. Or a, it's a past life love and firm boundaries are needed now. Okay, interesting. All right, Aries, I'm going to leave it here. So if these messages do resonate with you, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.